हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन अनदर वीडियो ऑन जस्ट टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो एप्पल जस्ट रिलीज आईओएस 14.1 ओटीए अपडेट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इट्स बिन ए वीक आफ्टर 14.1 इज शिफ्टेड टू जीएम बिल बट नाउ इट्स अवेलेबल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो लास्ट वीक एप्पल रिलीज 14.1 बट सडनली दे रोल बैक देयर अपडेट and 14.1 is shifted to the gm build but now it's available so you can update your device and this update is available for iphone 6s and above all the models including the iphone se first generation and the latest iphone 12 series and in the same way they release ipad os 14.1 for the all the ipad that support ios 14 and in this update they fix some bugs related to system they are not very notable changes for all of users but still make a difference for some users who are facing these issues i will display the whole key changes on the screen so you can pause the video and read it out like they have added the support of 10 bit hdr edit for iphone 8 and above model and also they fix the icon shows up in the reduced size on the home screen and some fix for the apple mail app and in some devices the incoming calls not showing the correct region so they have fixed that also and in the default calculator app the zero is not showing by the default so they fixed that in this update and there are so many fixes so you can read out all these things and to update to the latest iOS 14.1 you have to go to the general and then software update and it will show the latest 14.1 if it's not showing then you have to allow the automatic update download and it will show up there after that you have to just install it and the size of the update is varies according to your iPhone model and the iOS version you are previously on now let's talk about the security patch in the iOS 14.1 you will get no cve entries that mean no security patch is added in this update it is same as 14.0.1 because 14.0.1 has no security patch it's same as 14.0 so the same thing if you are on the 14.0.1 and if you shift it to 14.1 there is no security patch so in terms of security both ios 14.0.1 and 14.1 are totally same because there are no cve entries that means no security patch is added in this update so only some system related issues is fixed in this update so if you have any issues as i show in the starting of the video you can show update to the ios 14.1 Now the update is done and as you can see on the lock screen my device is updated to iOS 14.1 let me show you from the about now as you can see this is the iOS 14.1 and the build number is 18A8395 now let's talk about the iOS 14.1 jailbreak we will test the checkin is working on this or not in the couple of minutes and which device is supported for checkin jailbreak which is not i will give you full explanation with practical in this video like how to jailbreak and which device is supported which is not or on which device you should update to ios 14 to get the jailbreak or on which device you should do not update to ios 14 so let's first try the checkin to jailbreak ios 14.1 Just go to your Safari browser and you head over to the Checkrain official website. You will get the 0.11.0 beta that is currently latest for Checkrain to support iOS 14. And there are mainly three ways to jailbreak with Checkrain. One, directly run the Checkrain file on the Mac OS, and the second option is to run the Checkrain on the Linux distribution like Ubuntu, Kali Linux, and other stuff. and the third one is unofficial way to run the checkrain on windows machine by the help of a usb stick and the iso file to run the checkrain on windows so for 0.11.0 there are preliminary support for ios 14 devices there are some devices that are support ios 14 jailbreak that is iphone 6s 6s plus ipad air 2 second generation ipad 5th generation and so on so you can check out the whole list of compatible device on the screen and in the upcoming weeks more devices will be support ios 14 jailbreak so let me just run the check screen now i have to connect my device 
and if you are a windows user you can try my windows jailbreak method i will give the links in the description you can check out the video from there or from the i button now you can see on the screen my device is supported but the ios 14.1 is not supported so for that you have to just go to the option and allow the first option that is allow untested ios and ipad os version now click on start now after that click on ok now you have to put your device into recovery mode it will directly put your device into recovery mode after that you have to manually put your device into dfu mode so you have to just follow the instructions on the screen so it will be different as per your device so you can just follow the instruction so mine is press the home button and the power button for the 10 second and then release the power button and keep pressing the home button for the next 5 to 6 seconds and then your device will be get into DFU mode and it will start jailbreaking your device. You can do the same process on the Windows machine or Linux machine. I will give the links in the description of my ISO file. You can watch that video and follow the steps to jailbreak on Windows machine. Now the jailbreak process is done. You can see all done on the Checkrain app. Now you can disconnect the cable and install the CD app via Checkrain loader. So let me just show you. Make sure that you connect it with your Wi-Fi. After that, your Checkrain loader will be appear on the home screen. Now just open it. Now click on CD and install it. Now it will install the CD and it will appear on your home screen. Now it's done. Just open the CD app. Now as you can see we have successfully installed the CD app and you can see the iOS version that is 14.1. The checkrain is fully supported the iOS 14.1. So you can jailbreak your device if your device is supported by checkrain because there are no CVE added in this update so it's same as 14.0.1 because 14.0.1 is also supported by checkrain. Now if you are on iPhone 7 series and above like iPhone 8 and iPhone X, you have to wait for the next Checkrain update to update your device. First Checkrain will release for iPhone 7 series and then after it will update to the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. So you have to wait for that. So Checkrain will definitely come for the iPhone 5s to iPhone X supported model only. So if you are on iPhone XR and the above model, do not update to iOS 14, stay on iOS 13 or 13.7 that is latest for iOS 13 because if the jailbreak come like Uncover or Odyssey or any other jailbreak that will come for the iOS 13.7 support because iOS 14 support have less chances to come for jailbreak for the above models. So if you need to jailbreak your device in future as well, so you have to keep all these points in your mind and I will keep updating with the latest news and the update on my channel. So do subscribe it and like this video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.